Hi guys, I'm back again. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about movie posters and why you might need them. Well, I'm sure you know why you need them. First of all, you want to hang it on your wall, right? You want to show that you've produced this movie. But aside from that, you need them for a lot of reasons. You need a poster to put on IMDb. You need a poster for all of your marketing. Um, I guarantee anytime you're going to a film festival, they're going to want to see a, a movie poster. Your distributors are going to want to see a poster. Um, there's a lot of, lot of different reasons you're going to need it. Now, you might start out thinking, you know, you're going to have one poster. And I'm here to tell you, you definitely need probably at least a couple, maybe two or three different posters. And the reason you might want to do that is because, well, first of all, you can create your own poster, but once you get into distribution, they're going to create a new one for you. They have professionals that do this all the time and um, they really know what people respond to when they're looking at like especially VOD like Amazon, iTunes, whatever. They, there's definitely something different they're looking for there than in your poster. So to give you an example, um, our Halloween party poster, this is one that we created for it. Uh, this is the first movie poster that my husband Mark created in Photoshop. And so there's a lot going on there. I mean, you know, we have a lot of, we wanted to show a lot of our characters on it. One of the reasons we wanted to put our, a lot of characters on it is so that they would all want to share it. So it would really broaden the reach of our audience because people want to, you know, show off themselves. But if you look at the new poster created by our distributor um, for the movie, it only has one person on it. It has Christine who isn't even the main character, she's one of the hosts. She's a, she is one of the three top characters, but part of the host couple. But the thing is that she embodies a lot of what the film's about. Being a witch, um, she's sitting on a pumpkin, uh, she has a little spider that she's hanging from her hand. There's a definite spider film or a theme in our film. So, um, and, and it also has a lot of bright colors feels a little magical, feels like a comedy. So one of the things that we heard in the first poster we had, which I kind of, when I was describing what I wanted to mark, I said, I want a cornucopia of our characters, you know, splattered across like a spider web or whatever. And um, the problem with that type of poster is when you're looking at the little thumbnail images on um, any of the, the VOD platforms, it's really hard to see what's inside of those little teeny pieces. So usually, and if you go through this exercise yourself, going through and looking at, just go to Amazon, look at all the little things or iTunes, all the little posters, you'll notice that they have one, two, maybe three at most characters on the poster. But usually it's a star or it's something that really sells what the picture's about. So that's the main thing, that's marketing. So me as a filmmaker, I want to obviously have my cast, you know, um, be able to see themselves and share them, the poster. So again, in Last Call at Murray's, which I'm going to show you that one as well, see I put all the characters on the poster, everyone had it, but this wasn't what the uh, distributor wanted. They wanted something that showed our two stars, which is Michael Gross and John Savage. And so they basically redid the poster with just the two recognizable faces and created the next poster. So um, the other reason I said you might want more than that, and you'll probably notice this on some films out there, is if they have an ensemble cast, they may do a poster for each cast member. So that's another way to do the same sort of thing I just talked about, where you give somebody something to share themselves because they're on the poster. Um, but also, you know, if you have the star on it, then that might be the poster that your main distributor would want because they want something with the star on it. So the more work you do, the more you have to share. The posters are really about people, you know, really sharing your content, getting it out there. And then also the other thing I wanted to mention about posters is they're really changing. So your standard poster is, you know, your standard 24 by 30, 18 by 27, um, I think. Uh, 30 by 36. Anyway, um, you'll want different sizes, okay? Because if you go to Vistaprint or any of the um, printing services like at Costco to make little postcards, um, there's different size posters. So sometimes you're not going to just be able to have one size. 
because if you order at Vistaprint, that's different than ordering at Costco. And it'll cut off part of the poster if it's not sized right. So that's another reason that you'll have multiple sized posters. Um, but then aside from that, there's another reason. Um, if you look at, uh, especially Amazon today, or um, Voodoo or some of those platforms, they now have the long rectangular picture of your uh, film. So it's, it's almost uh, like a 16 by nine, which is your standard computer screen. That's sort of the rectangular screen. It's also your standard screen from the movie. So um, what they're doing is they, when you deliver your film, they not only want the regular, regular size poster, but they want these odd size posters that are these 16 by nine. And especially if you're gonna um, put your film on Amazon yourself, you definitely have to have those in order to submit it to Amazon. So now you need a whole different kind of poster. Also, having something those, um, you know, 16 by nine sized um, really helps you when you're entering film festivals. Because a lot of times a film festival uh, really, they don't put the pictures up that are the standard size posters, like your 18 by tw uh, 27 or whatever it is. They put like a, a still from the film. So a lot of times they ask you, do you have a film poster or some stills? And then if they, obviously the film poster is not gonna fit, so they'll just put a still in there. 